As many tourists before me, when in France, I made sure to visit Versailles Palace. For those of you who haven't made it yet, make sure you wear sneakers. It is a big place. Yeah, yeah, I know. You're going to look like a tourist. Trust me, it's worth it. I had signed up for a 90-minute tour taking place near the courtyard, which was starting in a few minutes. The challenge was that I was past the courtyard, across the gardens. So as soon as I realized my tour was about to start, I dashed across the gardens, across the courtyard. Just as I got to the door, I realized I needed to use the bathroom. The bad news for me, the bathrooms were back across the courtyard. There was a line of people waiting to use them, plus I would have had to pay to use them. None of this was working for me. So I thought, Amy, you got nothing to lose. Just ask the woman at the reception if you can use the bathrooms here. Now, I knew she was going to say no. Interestingly, this helped me to detach from the outcome I really wanted. And in my very best French, I said, Bonjour, madame. Vous allez bien? Vous n'avez pas une toilette je pourrais utiliser, s'il vous plaît? I even phrased the sentence in a way that made it really, really easy for her to say no. Hello, madam. How are you? You wouldn't have a toilet I could use, would you? Please. So, what do you think she said? Exactly. She said no. I knew she was going to say no. And this is how I responded. D'accord. Merci quand même. Thank you anyway. And with, I did it with a warm smile. And this, my friends, is where the magic happened. I was just about to turn around. Before I got halfway turned around, she said to me, well, I can make an exception for you. Say what, I thought? She told me to follow her. So we tiptoed across the main entrance, kind of like, like we were in the middle of a Pink Panther movie. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> and then, when we got to the bathrooms, she apologized that they weren't nicer. Frankly, I thought, I'm not looking for Louis' throne here. Now, why do you think she chose to make this exception for me? My belief is that because I didn't punish her for giving me what I wanted, she felt the freedom to choose. I know sometimes it doesn't always feel like it. Believe it or not, human beings want to help each other. We're programmed as a form of survival because, oh, and because it makes us feel better. So it's those two reasons. And selfishly, this woman got to feel better about herself because she helped me out. And she was motivated to do it because I hadn't punished her or tried to manipulate her for not giving me what I wanted originally. Also, by being conscious and aware that I was attached to the outcome, that I was wanting what I wanted, this helped me, ironically, to detach from the outcome, which in turn helped me to stay partner when she initially said no. My friends, it is never over until it's over. Always believe magic can happen. And bonus is that even the times when you don't get what you want, it still counts because you've gone to the partner gym. You've built those partner muscles. And I promise this will pay off in the future. Those are my tips for today. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to visit my website or check out my YouTube channel or my book, The Ego, Chan Ego Tango, for more tips on becoming a more powerful communicator. Thanks for tuning in and happy partnering.